so welcome back to our very popular um, segment called the Ninth Four, which, you know, I think we can expand a little bit. So, uh, we had eight fantastic wines here today in, uh, uh, from Burgundy. Um, and Yannick, what do you think? Um, as like a, let's say a homework assignment, what would we like our students to taste other than those eight? I mean, I guess right now, um, the biggest trend right now, and I think it's completely relevant, is to try some uh, Alagote. Um, it's a grape that was somewhat forgotten, and it's really, uh, it's made a great comeback. Um, I think it offers tremendous value, great quality, great complexity. So if you need to, if you're going to do homework and you're going to explore, definitely check out Alagote, but also get a couple of bottles from different villages and put them side by side and really understand how one model varietal like Pinot Noir can be so radically different from village to village to village. And so get all your friends together, ship in some bucks because you know Burgundy is expensive and really explore. Yeah, that helps a lot. And also um, because Really, when we talk about two of the most popular grape varieties, white and red, in the world, Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, grape varieties that are grown in every continent. That's right. That's right. Burgundy is really the benchmark for both of them. 100%. So, you know, one of a, a cool tasting for a tasting group, of course, would also be grab a classic Burgundy, Pinot Noir, say a Chablis, and then compare that with Chardonnays and Pinot Noirs from other parts of the world and get the, the, the differences. I'm all about that. I yeah. totally agree. I think it's a great homework assignment. Great. All right. Now do your drinking out there. <laughs> See you later. Ciao.